What is Big Bang beginning of the universe? The Big Bang theory is the prevailing scientific explanation for the origin and evolution of the universe. It provides a framework for understanding the early moments of the universe and its subsequent development. Introduction The Big Bang theory posits that the universe began as an incredibly hot and dense singularity approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The singularity contained all the matter, energy, space, and time that make up the universe today. This theory is supported by numerous observations and measurements, including the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, and the redshift of distant galaxies, the singularity. In the context of the Big Bang theory, the singularity refers to a hypothetical point of infinite density and temperature from which the universe originated. It is a concept that arises from our current understanding of the laws of physics and their limitations. According to our current theories, including general relativity, the laws of physics break down at the singularity. This means that we cannot describe or understand what happened prior to the singularity using our current scientific frameworks. The singularity is often described as a moment of extreme conditions where the known laws of physics cease to be applicable. The singularity is considered the starting point of the universe as we know it, where all matter, energy, space, and time were compressed into an infinitely small and dense state. It represents the beginning of the expansion and subsequent evolution of the universe. Cosmic inflation. Cosmic inflation is a period of extremely rapid expansion that is believed to have occurred in the early universe, shortly after the Big Bang. During this phase, the universe expanded exponentially, increasing in size by an enormous factor in a very short amount of time. The concept of cosmic inflation was proposed to explain certain observations and characteristics of the universe, such as its overall uniformity and the absence of certain relics. It helps to address some of the questions that arise from the standard Big Bang model. Inflation is thought to have been driven by a hypothetical field called the inflaton field. This field is characterized by a potential energy that causes the universe to undergo this exponential expansion. As the universe expanded, the energy of the inflaton field was converted into matter and radiation, setting the stage for the subsequent evolution of the universe. The rapid expansion during cosmic inflation smoothed out the initial irregularities and fluctuations in the distribution of matter and energy. This resulted in the observed overall homogeneity and isotropy of the universe on large scales. It also explains why the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, appears remarkably uniform across the sky. Particle formation. Particle formation refers to the process by which subatomic particles, such as quarks and leptons, came into existence in the early universe. During the initial stages following the Big Bang, the universe was extremely hot and dense. As the universe cooled down, the energy levels became low enough for particles to form. Initially, the energy was too high for stable particles to exist, and instead, the universe was filled with a primordial soup with elementary particles and their antiparticles. These particles constantly interacted and annihilated each other, leading to a state of equilibrium. However, as the universe continued to expand and cool, it reached a point where the energy levels dropped to a critical threshold. At this stage, the interactions between particles and antiparticles became less frequent, allowing for a net excess of matter particles. The process of particle formation involved various interactions and transformations. Quarks combined to form protons and neutrons, while electrons and neutrinos emerged as separate particles. These particles were the building blocks of matter in the early universe. The formation of particles played a crucial role in the subsequent evolution of the universe. As the universe continued to expand and cool, these particles clumped together under the influence of gravity, eventually leading to the formation of atoms, stars, galaxies, and other cosmic structures. Nucleosynthesis. Nucleosynthesis refers to the process by which light atomic nuclei such as helium and hydrogen, were formed in the early universe. It occurred during the first few minutes after the Big Bang, when the universe was extremely hot and dense. During this phase, the high temperatures and densities allow for the fusion of protons and neutrons, which are subatomic particles. These fusion reactions resulted in the formation of light atomic nuclei. The most abundant element produced during nucleosynthesis is helium, followed by smaller amounts of hydrogen and trace amounts of other light elements like lithium, and beryllium. Nucleosynthesis was a rapid process that took place in a short period of time, starting approximately one second after the Big Bang and lasting for a few minutes. As the universe expanded and cooled, the conditions were no longer suitable for nuclear fusion to occur, and the process came to an end. The abundance of light elements in the universe today, 
as observed through astronomical measurements, provide strong evidence supporting the predictions of nucleosynthesis. The precise calculations of nucleosynthesis and its implications for the universe's composition and early history have been a significant focus of study in cosmology and astrophysics. Recombination. Recombination refers to the process that occurred approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when electrons combine with atomic nuclei to form neutral atoms. In the early universe, the high temperature and density prevented electrons and atomic nuclei from stately binding together. Photons of light constantly interacted with these free charged particles, making the universe opaque. However, as the universe expanded and cooled down, it reached a point where the temperature was low enough for electrons to be captured by atomic nuclei. During recombination, the capture of electrons by atomic nuclei led to the formation of neutral atoms, mostly hydrogen and helium. This event had a significant impact on the transparency of the universe. With fewer free-charged particles to scatter and interact with photons, light was able to travel more freely through space. The photons that were present at the time of recombination now make up the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB. This faint afterglow of the early universe can still be detected today and provides valuable insights into the early stages of cosmic evolution. Recombination is a key milestone in the history of the universe as it marked the transition from a hot ionized plasma to a mostly neutral gas. The detection and analysis of the CMB radiation have provided significant evidence supporting the Big Bang theory and have helped refine our understanding of the universe's early development. Formation of structures. Formation of structures in the Big Bang refers to the process by which galaxies, galaxy clusters, and other large-scale cosmic structures came into existence. Tiny density fluctuations in the early universe, imprinted during the period of cosmic inflation, played a crucial role in the formation of structures. These density variations created regions of slightly higher and lower density as the universe continued to expand. Gravity acted on these density fluctuations, causing matter to attract and clump together. Over time, these clumps grew larger and more massive, eventually leading to the formation of structures like galaxies. Under the influence of gravity, matter continued to collapse and form larger structures, such as galaxy clusters and superclusters. The distribution of matter in the universe is not uniform, but exhibits a pattern of filaments and voids. Matter tends to concentrate in the regions with higher initial density fluctuations, while the low-density regions form voids where matter is relatively sparse. The formation of structures is a gradual and ongoing process that has shaped the large-scale structure of the universe as we observe it today. Understanding this process provides insights into the growth and evolution of cosmic structures and the underlying principles of gravity and cosmology. Expansion of the Universe The expansion of the universe in the Big Bang refers to the continuous stretching and increasing size of the universe over time. Following the initial singularity, the universe began expanding rapidly in all directions. This expansion is commonly visualized as the stretching of space itself, causing galaxies and other cosmic objects to move away from each other. The evidence for the expansion of the universe comes from observations of the redshift of light from distant galaxies. As the universe expands, the wavelengths of light from distant objects become stretched, resulting in a shift towards the red end of the spectrum. The rate of expansion, known as the Hubble constant, determines how fast the universe is expanding. Measurements of the Hubble constant have revealed that the expansion is accelerating, suggesting the presence of an unknown form of energy called dark energy. The expansion of the universe has important implications for the history and future of the cosmos. It implies that the universe was denser and hotter in the past and has been gradually becoming less dense and cooler over time. The concept of the expanding universe is a fundamental aspect of the Big Bang theory and has been strongly supported by observational data. It provides insights into the origin, evolution, and large-scale structure of the universe as we know it today. Dark Matter Dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter that does not interact with light or electromagnetic radiation. Its existence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter. Dark matter is believed to make up a significant portion of the total matter content in the universe. During the Big Bang, dark matter is thought to have formed alongside regular matter. However, unlike regular matter, it does not interact with electromagnetic forces, making it invisible and difficult to detect directly. Dark matter's gravitational influence is observed in the rotation curves of galaxies, gravitational lensing, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Dark energy. Dark energy is an even more mysterious component of the universe. 
It is believed to be a form of energy that permeates all of space and is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. In the Big Bang model, dark energy is thought to have been present from the beginning. Its nature and origin are not well understood, but it is postulated to possess negative pressure, causing a repulsive gravitational effect that counteracts the attractive force of gravity. The existence of dark energy was inferred from observations of distant supernova and measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation. These observations revealed that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, which can be attributed to the repulsive effects of dark energy. Dark energy is thought to be the dominant component of the universe, accounting for a significant portion of its total energy density. However, its exact nature and the underlying physics that govern it are still subjects of intense scientific investigation. Conclusion The Big Bang Theory provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the origin and evolution of the universe. It describes a universe that began from an incredibly hot and dense singularity, expanded rapidly during cosmic inflation, and subsequently gave rise to the formation of matter, galaxies, and large-scale structures. While the theory has been extensively supported by observational evidence, many questions remain unanswered, such as the nature of the singularity and the ultimate fate of the universe. Ongoing scientific research continues to explore these mysteries and expand our understanding of the universe's beginnings. That's all in this video. If you like the information, please hit like and subscribe to this channel, and be connected to this channel for more space information.